Welcome to Lime Sports World. And a very good evening to you. I'm Mark Seward of the Lime Sports World. The West Indies cricket team left the Grant Tilly Adams International Airport in Barbados this evening on their 30-hour trip to Australia. CBC Shane Jones reports. Contractual disputes aside, full-strength team, new manager, new coach, and Chris Gill is back as skipper. It's a good feeling to be back, you know, as West Indies captain and uh, as a player as well. Um, you know, this is where we actually depart to Australia, so you know, we're looking forward to it. Um, at the same time, we know, we know it won't be an easy tour, and you know, our main focus is actually you know, try and you know, you know, beat Australia in Australia, you know, which will be difficult at that point in time. But the, the, the thoughts and the mindset is actually to go out there and you know, be positive, and you know, hopefully we can win. But what about those who question Gill's captaincy? It's, it's their opinion. Um, I, can't, I can't say too much about it. And you know, whatever the view or what they, they saw, they saw in the in the last couple of months or you know, two years, I've been captain. So um, it's their views. But there's nothing I can do about it. Um, you know, I still have to be positive. You know, I've, uh, I've been you know, re well reinstated as captain, so I have a job to fulfil, and I'm going to do that to the firm to the best of my ability. And you know. head coach David Williams admits that the team may not be as ready as he would like probably not as prepared as one would like um, simply because we haven't had much uh, four-day or five-day practice um, although the guys had a hit in in Guyana um, I don't think it's the ideal thing but nevertheless we got uh, 13 days uh, before the actual first test uh, plus we got a four-day game against Queensland as well um, so we're gonna use that as our preparation Williams believes that hard work should be the hallmark of the team if you're looking for success obviously you're gonna have to work hard and that has always been my motto even when I started coaching at PowerGen. Uh, you work extremely hard, you're gonna reap rewards. It may not come immediately, but somewhere down the road it's gonna come. And emerging player of the year nominee Kimar Roach is learning quite fast. All well, test cricket is a hard game, a hard cricket play. Um, you have to be very consistent, you know, work hard. Um, but it's not an easy walk over. You have, to, um, use, you have to think more than your ability, you know. And once, I, once you get over that, you should be okay. With the recent troubles of West Indies cricket not so far behind and the strength of the Australian team, the Windies will most likely have an uphill struggle. But if the team can play as a unit, who knows what glorious uncertainties may unfold. Shane Jones, CBC Sports. And speaking about the West Indies, their women continue to dominate the world champions England on their credit tour of the Caribbean. Today in St. Kitts, West Indies defeated England by five wickets in the second 2020 International of the three-match series at Warner Park. With the victory, West Indies clinched an unacceptable 2-0 lead in the series. England batted first and they were restricted to 99 of 19.4 overs. Charlotte Edwards top scored with 41, while all-rounder Pamela Levine continued her fine form, taking 4 for 21. Stephanie Taylor got 2 for 13. The Windies women responded with 102 for 5 off 19.1 overs. Levine again was topped to 37. Stacey Ann King got 22 not out. And Catherine Brunt took 2 for 21. The biggest sporting event to be held in Barbados this year now has a title sponsor. Lime has climbed on board for the much-talked-about tennis exhibition match set for November 28th and 29th, which will feature world number one Serena Williams and Caroline Wozniacki. Country manager of Lyme.